In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Memorare of St. Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly to you, our spiritual father, and beg your protection. O foster father of the Redeemer, despise not our petitions, but in your goodness hear and answer us. Amen. This is day five of our consecration to St. Joseph. And we're going to meditate on God, the Holy Spirit. You know, St. Joseph is a model, is a perfect model of the interior life. What do we mean by an interior life? Well, simply, he's the perfect model of how the Holy Spirit works within us. In order to grow in holiness, it's important to pray. Prayer is the most essential ingredient. After all, prayer is communication with God. And St. Joseph was picked and set aside specifically by God to be the father of Jesus on earth. He was in constant communication. God was constantly speaking through the Holy Spirit to St. Joseph and directing him on what to do next. And so let us open our hearts and open our minds to the movement of the Holy Spirit as we ask God to help us grow in the fruits of the Spirit, in love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are all perfect examples of how St. Joseph lived his life. And so let us, as we consecrate ourselves to him, ask God to help us to imitate St. Joseph in these virtues, in these characteristics, and in, in how St. Joseph was and lived his life. And so as we conclude, we pray to the sleeping St. Joseph, as we do at the end of each day session of our consecration. Let us keep in mind that St. Joseph was one who didn't speak a lot. He was an inner, he lived an interior life is what, we, is what we call it. Someone who was in constant communion and communication to God. And so as we conclude and pray this prayer, let us ask the sleeping St. Joseph to pray for us. O oh, St. Joseph, you are a man greatly favored by the Most High. The angel of the Lord appeared to you in a dream while you slept to warn you and guide you as you cared for the Holy Family. You were both silent and strong, a loyal and courageous protector. Dear St. Joseph, as you rest in the Lord, confident of his absolute power and goodness, look upon us. Please take our needs into your heart, dream of them, and present them to your son. Help us then, good St. Joseph, to hear the voice of God, to arise and act with love. I praise and thank you, God, with joy. St. Joseph, we love you. Amen. <laughs>